episode nine of Welcome! Whoa! To episode <laughs> to nine. Episode nine! So today we have another special treat for you. Um, we are going to make cauliflower wings. They're so good. I was kind of skeptical at first when I heard about them, but they're really good. We're gonna take uh, cauliflower and our breadcrumbs and we're gonna make barbecue cauliflower wings. I Shout out to Sen for giving us this recipe Thank because you very much. we made this with them one time and it was literally the best thing ever. So shout out to Sen, thanks for that. Thank you. We're also gonna have uh, this white cheddar style veggie daya mac and cheese. So this is what we are drinking today, oh. peach brandy. For those of you that don't know what brandy is, it's a, what is it? Fancy whiskey? No, I think it's like a wine liquor kind of deal. I, yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna Google what brandy is guys, because apparently, Apparently, we don't know what it is. Brandy is a strong alcoholic spirit distilled from wine, I was right, or fermented fruit juice. So it's basically just old grapes. Raisins! <laughs> In <laughs> juice form with peach flavoring. We fancy! <gasps> okay, so we started a quick meals, um, a part, as part, we started a quick meals in addition to our episodes here on Our Twisted Kitchen. Basically what it is is we will film a quick meals uh, vid which will usually be probably five minutes or less just to kind of show you guys like how easy and quick it is to be vegan even with a short amount of time. With that, we also want to add that we are chasing with these as we did in our quick meals. Um, sparkling ice water, I have cherry limeade, Jay has uh, blueberry pomegranate. It's not that great, uh, I had lemonade last time and that was better. So we're gonna start by cutting up our cauliflower. We have the oven preheated to 450 maybe. It's important for you to wash your produce because there are probably a lot of pesticides on there. Even the stuff that is labeled or marketed as organic, still kind of iffy. We always wash our produce. I know I read online one time that it takes seven times for you to wash your produce before all the pesticides are gone. Ugh. But <laughs> just a little heads up, just a little FYI we want to let you know about. Just so. a little FYI. This is an ideal cauliflower wing. You cut off all the crap down there and then they look like little baby stems that you just basically just carve out with your knife and pull apart with your hands. And then they're just little baby cauliflower wings. They're just, they're perfect. If you want, you can cut them in half so that they're not as big. That's fine too. If they're in like bigger chunks like this, it's easier for them to get completely breaded. So like this is a perfectly good size wing. Everybody needs butter. Everybody needs butter. You need some butter. The empty one or the whole one? That's not that one. Shh, I didn't know. I did not know. I did not know. What one was the full one? Here it is. This, this one's one is earth balance and actually this one is actually soy free recently i had a request from my stepmom she texted me and asked what kind of like vegan cheese or vegan butter somebody could have because they're on a soy free diet and i actually forgot to mention this brand so this is earth balance butter it's soy free what we're gonna do with this butter is we're gonna take a little bit of it melt it get it in the bottom of this along with our sauce and our breadcrumbs panko is it panko or it's pinko 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 kind of flower wings pinko kind of flower wings wow with barbecue sauce so we put our butter in for about 45 seconds. Oh, well, you can try 30 seconds or 10 seconds at a time, whatever you prefer. This is a bitch, I got How's that going? So we're gonna mix some of this with our panko breadcrumbs. If anyone has suggestions of what we can use other than a plastic bag, please let us know. You're gonna take your sauce and you're gonna pour it in there, yep. So we're gonna melt some more butter. 
in the process, we're going to throw some cauliflowers in there. That looks disgusting. Basically, you just mix the dark in there. Mix it. Mix it. Mix hey. it in a slip block burn. So with the cauliflower wings, it can be a little difficult to get the breadcrumbs and the barbecue sauce to stay on there. But I promise you, whatever does stay on there will be good and whatever's left over you can just dump on the top. FYI, this tastes like peaches. Like if baby peach, like baby peach princess was an alcoholic drink. Baby, no, don't say baby peach. <laughs> I want to drink the baby. <laughs> exactly. If Princess Peach was a was an alcoholic beverage, this would be her, like 100%. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? Bitch that always gets herself kidnapped. Some fucking plumber from New York has to save her ass. He's Italian. That's me. <laughs> Anyways, our cauliflower. Our cauliflower wings are almost done. We have one minute left. Uno minuto. Uno minuto. Uno minuto. Uno minuto. So, our cow I can't talk. Cowie flower. Stop, I'll say it. How do you say it? Is the L silent? Shh, I'll say it. Is the L silent? No, listen, I'll say it. So, our cauliflower wings are done, and we're about ready to take them out of the oven and start getting our stuff plated. We're still kind of waiting on this to almost be done. Kind of almost waiting for that to be done. Ooh, yeah, these are done. <laughs> Those are done. <laughs> so we're adding the cheese sauce to our mac and cheese. So everything is done. We have our cauliflower wings. We have our mac and cheese, which has dehydrated vegetables in it. Yum, right? So we will show you what it all looks like. The final product. So this is what we have. We have our cauliflower wings over here, which like we said before, the breadcrumbs are gonna kinda just fall wherever they want to, but you can easily mix them in with your cauliflower. And we also have some mac and cheese here, which has vegetables in it. So that is how you make cauliflower wings and a side of mac and cheese. Tune in to our next episode where we make something super yummy and super quick and easy for your wallet.